Burkitt lymphoma. Burkitt lymphoma is essentially a cancer of the lymphatic system and in particular of B lymphocytes. So it's sometimes referred to as a B cell lymphoma. Burkitt's lymphoma commonly occurs in children and there's a few types, three in particular, that I wanted to discuss. The first one is known as endemic type of Burkitt's lymphoma and this type is seen mostly in Africa in particular the central region of Africa and this is the type that classically affects the jaw and facial bones and it's very very uh, impressive and characteristic and I'll show a picture of it shortly the next type is known as the sporadic type and the sporadic type is seen to occur outside of Africa so that's why it's sometimes referred to as the non-African type and this type of Burkitt's affects the abdomen and in particular the ileocecal region the third type of Burkitt lymphoma is known as the immunodeficient type and what that really is referring to is the type of Burkitt's lymphoma that occurs in AIDS patients. So those are the three types of Burkitt's. Burkitt's lymphoma is a very rapidly growing tumor due to the rapid proliferation of the B cells and macrophages. And Burkitt's lymphoma is a chromosomal translocation and in particular the translocation that they test often involves chromosomes 8 and 14. So please remember that. A very important part of Burkitt's lymphoma on exam questions is the relationship between this virus which is known as the Epstein-Barr virus. Now this virus is associated with Burkitt's lymphoma. Now interestingly Epstein-Barr virus is also associated with other malignancies and medical conditions most commonly Epstein-Barr is associated with nasopharyngeal carcinoma and Epstein-Barr virus is associated with a more benign medical condition much less serious of course which is mononucleosis so the reason I mention this is that in clinical vignettes that are about Burkitt's lymphoma they'll throw in mono or nasopharyngeal carcinoma to see if you can identify an association and the association the common link is that virus so what are some of the symptoms or presentation essentially this will be a very impressive swelling in the facial region in particular the facial bones and the cheek area and the patient will have obviously a lot of pain and, and difficulty breathing and I'll show you a photo so this is a photo of a child with uh, Burkitt's lymphoma and as you can see there's a very impressive uh, swelling in that uh, facial area in terms of diagnosis diagnosis involves a biopsy of the tissue or lymph node and what you will see is a very characteristic pattern of macrophages known as starry sky appearance and I have a picture of that and this is what it looks like it's very characteristic on uh, pathology and the treatment of Burkitt's involves chemotherapy so let's take a look at a few clinical vignettes 
A patient complains of difficulty breathing through his nose and bony pain in his cheeks near his nose. Physical exam and CT of the head reveal mass lesions involving the nose, pharynx, and sinuses. CT guided biopsy demonstrates a non-keratinizing squamous cell carcinoma, which of the following disorders is associated with the same oncogenic virus that is likely cause of this patient's cancer. Well, this is a straightforward question. It came with a photo, and the photo I just showed you here, and it's very characteristic presentation of Burkitt's lymphoma. And the last one, an African child develops massive unilateral enlargement of his lower face in the vicinity of the mandible. Biopsy demonstrates sheets of medium-sized blast cells with admixed larger macrophages. This type of tumor has been associated with which of the following? Well, they're describing Burkitt's, but they want you to choose um, which type of virus. And we know that the virus is Epstein-Barr, and the chromosomal translocation involved in Burkitt lymphoma is T814.